Hello everyone and welcome back to Zilanka, the brand new premium expansion map for Farming Simulator 22. I have a couple of options um, of what I want to do because we do we are harvesting the carrots but like uh, this oh we can't open it here okay well this is extremely small and like a little bit pointless in my opinion but what are you meant to get in here? Oh, there's lights. Cool. Um, yeah. I was thinking of selling this chicken pasture and selling... You actually can't open it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but like, again, what would you put in here? You can't drive a vehicle in here, like, so... I was thinking of selling this chicken pasture and selling this shed because they're a bit pointless. And I'm going to buy a, some sort of a factory because I have the carrots here and in that class trailer up there, it's almost full. But I don't want to sell them as just carrots because you don't get a whole lot for them. I think it would be a much better idea to get a production. I was looking at some of the new ones here. So, uh, production. Um, yeah, so we have the likes of a soup factory or a preserved food factory. Well, uh, that's a, like about crisps, I think. So we obviously need potatoes for that. And oil. Some sort of oil. Um, so yeah, either it's going to be either the preserved food factory or the soup factory. The soup factory is a shake dear. So before we get in any further, I just want to say if you like Farm Simulator videos, make sure you smash that subscribe button, help the channel out big time. Make sure you hit the like on the video and get it up in the algorithm so people can get see it and it comes across more people. And don't forget to leave comments. Um, lots of people are been leaving comments about suggestions and mods and everything. So yeah, thanks everyone that has done that. And this is going to be a bonus episode this week out on the Thursday because I just feel yesterday's episode was so bad because I ran into trouble with a mod clashing with the game and I kept bugging my full game out. I had to force close it like five, six times. So we're back in it now. So I really want to get a crack on on it. So yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, just want to have a double check and see which is worth actually more money. The soups or the preserved food. Uh, so soups are worth... Around the 3,000 mark at this current time. And the preserved foods are worth a little less. So, yeah. Um, I'd like to do the soup. I think the soup would be cool. So, we're going to do... do blah, excuse me. We're going to do the soup, I think. Uh, soup factory. So, yeah, we can make potato soup. Obviously, which would be weird. But we can have carrots, parsnips, beetroot. And that's triple soup, whatever that is. So, I'm not sure what you need for that, but... 135,000, we're obviously going to need to take out a loan. I was thinking of putting it somewhere there. Get rid of this tree, maybe. And get rid of those. Actually, yeah, I meant to get rid of those. Uh, sheds. So if we click demolish, and boom, 4,000, I mean, yeah. And the chicken pasture. Look, if we ever need chickens again, we can get them. But I would also like to cut this tree down. Let me just purchase the chainsaw really quick. No. It's an oak tree, actually. Okay. So, I am just going to use super strength for the minute. Um, because... Yeah, I do just want to get that out of the way. That's a toggle hood. Wrong one. Super strength. Um, yeah, I will just shove it down here somewhere. We will move it later, but it's just at this time. I'm not even sure how much you can get for it. Like it's probably not worth a whole lot. And then to remove the stump, I will just do this quickly. Um, if I go to this one. Or this one, I can remove. Just better remove all stumps. Uh, remove stumps. Oh, the stumps are gone. Nice. Um, just pick these up and swap them over here. The tree point linkage. I just think that's going to be a better setup. Um, no. 
we need a loan of course because we don't have the money but this will roll money in by doing this so we have 120 we'll get uh yeah 30,000 should be enough I just want to get a little bit extra because I really don't want to be left with absolutely nothing because it's obviously going to take some time to get the money back in so without further ado production and soup factory so where's the things right so there's nothing on them sides so I would say probably this way Clive's the player wow I need to move uh yeah because then the pallets are going to come in that yellow box at the front of the building which is where you're going to kind of want them to do it and then you can just tip at the far side you can see the grate so that's over there so I need to move myself. Everything else should be alright then. Should fit in there nicely. It's a bit bigger than I thought. Maybe I should. Okay, so I've leveled it a bit here as you can see. Now I know there's a massive cliff here, but look. Uh, not to worry. <laughs> um, right. Very actually tall there. I didn't think it was that tall. Um, I need to move myself again. I'll get stuck under the building. Construction, production. Uh, so there's loads of new, uh, different buildings. So there's yeah, the soup, the spinnery. It's obviously a, there's always been a spinnery, but it's just a new building. Same with like the dairy, bakery. Uh, that's actually obvious. so the bakery's new, not new, but the building is new. The design of it. So, uh, we want a soup factory, and we want it. I think that combine is actually in the way. Yeah. Now, ah. let's have a look at our new building. Wow, yeah. Zoop, 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 zoop. Zoopy. Okay. This is the first time I've ever had a production. I've never done the productions on Farm Simulator before. Thank right, Queen. Um, yeah, probably looks a bit weird that there's a factory right beside the farmhouse. But look, again, we're just having a bit of fun. Just trying to do out the. Uh, carrots and stuff so i'm happy where that is the pallet should spawn there and we tip the carrots in there or whatever the vegetables in there so without further ado let's tip our first load in i know it's not full but i'm not sure if we quite make it down again i'm also thinking i probably should at least took out money to lease the actual harvester for this because it will be a little bit quicker no Get this in and we can get the production started straight away. I'm very excited. I'm doing so much new things on this map. I've never done productions before. And I've never done obviously carrots because they're new to the game. So production chains. So triple soup is oh, all the new ones. Carrots, parsnip and, tur and beetroot. That's fair enough. And then obviously potato soup, uh, which is weird. Yeah, so we obviously want the carrot soup. So we want to activate. So the carrots should be, yep, yeah, you can see them there now. And we have three litres of soup. So, actually, yeah, so 300 for 100. That's not actually that bad, it's quite bulky. That's the inside of the building. I do apologise. <laughs> yeah, I'll do, I might do a little time lapse with this and see how it goes. It is going to take a long time. I might actually get a worker oh, oh. to start sewing on this as well. Uh, Belt keeps dropping for some reason. Let me just get this set up then real quick. And I do know we have no storage sheds, obviously. So that's going to have to change. I will build a shed somewhere. <coughs> so. Let me just double check what we can. Oh, this time of year. Here. Yeah, yeah, pretty much canola. Right, so we'll drill canola in that field. Because canola is a good crop for money. So, I do have to remember to drive on the wrong side, well, the incorrect side of the road for me, because I drive on the left. Oh. So, I'll buy two bags of seed. Big bags, seed, go two for now. That should be enough to do that field at least. Okay, I've just done two rows there because 
he will only get confused by the telephone poles and miss bits at the end, so at least now he won't. Set him off, then going up here. And we can get some canola in the ground for next year. So, we can pull forward then and get this underway. see what's wrong. There was like a half a row there or something so yeah we can start this row now instead. Okay, that was a very small time lapse. I think I am going to just sell this harvester. It's nice that we get it for free. And we start off with it, obviously, but... I'm just going to tip these carrots in. This production. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to bring this over and get rid of it. Very handy and cool, but... It's just going to take way too long to do this field. So... I think we're just going to bring it over, we can sell it, and hopefully we get enough to lease a the harvester. And if not, we'll take out a little bit extra of a loan. I mean, we already have 30,000 of a loan, so we can just top it up if we need to. Hopefully not. I don't know how much this thing will be worth. But I really just want to crack on and get some soup done. This, oh, we get 36,000. Wow, okay. Here. And sell. We get 37,000. Nice. So now if we go to the shop, go to harvesters, we need to go to vegetable technology. And 637,000, so we certainly won't be purchasing it. But lease is 32. Wow, yeah, that's expensive. But we should make that back with the... We should make that back with the soup, no problem. Soup is worth a nice chunk of money. So I'll just throw this back in the yard. And we will grab the harvester over there, the size of it, holy crap. It's ginormous. And we do have a little drill here we can use to re-drill vegetables. It's just there beside me now. So we will certainly will be using that. Yes. Really need to get this as quick as possible. Done. This is such a big machine, my god. Beacon's on for going on the road. Not that we're going on the road for very long, we're literally crossing. Tracks and everything. It's like a trike. For all the world. So... The conveyor belt is on the other side this time. Uh, we're actually in the class trailer, so it shouldn't take that much. Wow, I'm so excited to get carrots. It's going through the carrots quite fast. It's a fast production. Oh, that's a fast production. We need to hurry. Carrots in there. We don't want it to stop. Get all of our carrots in there. So let me just pull this under because then I can kind of get a rough idea. Oh, 
how low I can go with the belt. Oop. Yeah, uh, sure. I don't want to hit the tractor, so. Yeah, we'll leave it about there. And, yeah, let's stick with it, so. Now, we are underway, getting even more carrots. Wow. So let's get this underway, I'll get another time lapse going. A proper time lapse this time and get a good chunk. A couple of trailer loads. This is going to take a while, this field. But we're hopefully going to get a lot, a lot, a lot of money out of it. Okay, this is the second full load of this trailer. So you've seen in the time lapse I saw trailers. Um, yeah, that small trailer would have been ridiculous just unloading every second time, like so. At least we get four runs in this before it's empty. Still have not got any carrots. 1600 litres, so a pallet must be more than a thousand, obviously, because it would have spawned here by now. But, yeah, we are doing well. It is taking a bit of time. Um, I was thinking of turning off the 
seasonal growth just so that we could actually start planting some more vegetables because it only don't have to wait half the year in game to get more some more vegetables i'd like to be able to just keep on topping them now with the minute so i was thinking of turning off seasonal growth so that we could start back on this field and some so maybe parsnips in it um and get parsnip soup and stuff like that and then i will get the preserved food factory as well so no I just, i'd like to get them all and really focus on everything in the, in this premium expansion in this map so yeah i think i will after this run um, i'll probably do this run off camera and when i fill up this trailer again i will probably turn off seasonal growth get the discard that we have and put it on the back of the massey and start getting him to this carol because if we do another four rows of this i'm hoping the cultivator won't catch up and then behind the cultivator then we can get the zetter on the small little furrower and get the get parsnips drilled into or planted into the ground because i'm pretty sure we'll have to cultivate first i'll double check all that but i'll do all this off camera i get this load full and set that up and i'll be back with you when we are setting up the cultivator or the discard okay i have that load done i haven't done the cultivating yet but there is our first tin of first pallet of carrot soup very very nice it is a 2000 liter pallet so that's great let more produce and i will get the massey here and I will get the cultivator on the back to this carol and start on this field number 52 that we're in okay he's going off on that so i'll go back and get another load of carrots and yeah once he's kind of moved his way and we're kind of finished with this i'll get the zetter in with the little furrow yoke and we will sow some parsnips and we'll have parsnip soup. We do have a... I did show you we do have the pallet of carrots. Soup. So that's very exciting. So I'll get this done. Off camera. It's just... It takes a long time. So I'll get this done off camera. And... Yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, this is the last trip now. I have emptied one full load since I've seen you last. And this is the last piece now. Uh, what? Okay. So this is the last piece, so we can return that. That's a fabulous piece of equipment. It's such a unique machine. But it's done its purpose very well. Oh, is that your crystal? Nice. And the Vario, Pent Vario, nice. So we can return it. We don't need any more money on that. So I will. I think we have to furrow the ground before we can sow the vegetables. <clears throat> or rigid or something. Ridge the ground or something. It's something like that. So I will have a closer look at that. Now in one second. Oh, we can empty that. Oh, well, obviously it's not going to tip with the. Engine is off. We nearly have our second pallet. So let me, yeah. <clears throat> we need to go to vegetable technology. Yeah. So it's a plant. That's what we own. Yeah, yeah. And then this tool is used to create ridges, which can plant your vegetables afterwards. Wheel weights with the track that are recommended for use. Okay. That requires a lot of horsepower. 160. So the... To be fair, the... Oh... Um, to be fair, the... Uh, 
paint I could actually run that, so I will go over and grab it with the paint. And put the cover over on that anyway and oh no. <clears throat> I will grab this and hopefully get the zetter as well and get a little bit of planting done in this episode and finish it off in the next episode I do need to turn off seasonal growth as well by the way to do this because you can't sow for a while I'll probably put the front weight block on just because this is a heavy piece of equipment yeah no harm having that on I will do a bit of this because I want to see what it's like. It's a new, like, fertilization kind of process. It's like you get an extra yield if you do this, so. Aha! See? So, yeah. Quite cool, to be fair. Leaving the little ridges. So, I'll do a small time lapse of this. I don't want too much time lapses and I don't want the video to be too long either, but I'll get through this real quick. I'll do like some of the field. Okay, that'll do for now. I will set a worker off, finish the ridging. I'll just go and get the zetter and fill the new cedar, or well, the little drill thing that we have. You start off with it. So, if we can just set a worker off on this, it would be lovely. Get on this. Here is the new drill. Probably take some seed. Oh, there's some seed in it. Nice, 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 nice. So, we don't want beetroot. We want parsnips. I want to do parsnips just for a change. I like the way they give you a bit of seed in it. I don't know how long 16 litres will last. But again, I'm just going to do a small bit of this myself because I want to actually do it. And then we will just probably end the episode and we will finish off all this setup then on the way in the next episode. Oh yeah. Um, I do need to turn off the seasonal growth. That is a thing. Uh, is it in this? Seasonal growth. We'll just switch that off. Um, Everything else in this month, fix, like all that can be the same. It's literally just that we can plant whenever we want. So... It might look weird harvesting some crops at different times than when they should be in real life. But look, again, like I said, this is just going to be a fun series. This isn't going to be a super, super realistic uh, series. I really just want to kind of have fun with the new equipment, the new uh, vegetables, stuff like that. So productions, all that sort of stuff. We're going to be doing potatoes as well. I'm going to focus on those root crops, kind of. And we will do a small bit of arable. Because um, I just like doing arable anyway. But I will kind of stick to the... I want to make the crisps. I want to make the potato soup. All the vegetable soup. The triple soup. I want to make them all. And the preserved foods as well. So... I don't know if this texture this is supposed to be leaving on this. I'm not quite sure. When I get to the end, I will just double check. That it's actually accepting the parsnips in the ground. Oh, we can stick to here and go back to the map. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. I will buy 54, 51 and 50. I will be buying these three. It's just, there's literally sugar beet in them now and this has corn. So, we don't really want them. Uh, when, they har when they're harvested and maybe re-drilled, we'll see what's in them and we might buy them. Um, but yeah, right, okay. This is working fine. So... 
Thank God. I'm set a walker off. For now. And I will get yeah, into the massy is what I meant. Nice. Yep. Into the massy and we can fold this up for a minute and bring it back to the yard and conclude this episode because it's been going quite a while. But I'm happy. Very happy, very, very happy. We do need a shed of some sorts, that's the only thing I will say. I know that's not going to actually come off the tractor because we do need to unfold it. But the area is two soup, two pallets of soup. It has 4,000 litres, which is amazing. And we do have 138,000 litres still in there to be processed into soup. And yeah, so we probably had around 150,000 litres out of that field. So parsnips, we will be doing parsnip soup. It's the same ratio, uh, 300 to 100. That's the same... That's the same, but you need less of each, obviously, because it's still 300 to 100, and then the potatoes. So, yeah, we will do them all. But, we'll let them build up, and we will be bringing them to the cell point when we required to. But yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to stop those workers. And, that's the wrong button. I'm going to stop those workers. And, we can continue that in the next episode, and again... Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of Zilanka. Goodbye.